Hey everyone, this is the Research Review Monday for today. We're going to cover a great little article called The Innovative Treatment of Clinically Diagnosed Meniscal Tears, a randomized sham controlled trial of the Mulligan Concept Squeeze Technique. Now, I had never seen this technique before until reading this research study. I actually found another research study, which I think this one cites. It was done during the 2000s. And um, so I learned about this new technique. And, and just to give you the, the quick overview of the study, this one was published in 2018 in the Journal of Manual and Manipulative Therapy. And um, let me scroll down here. There was, uh, where are we at? 23 people here, there's the N. And um, so it was a small study. They, they have not studied this technique very much at all. This is cutting edge, you know, first guru level type stuff. So um, what they were looking at though was how effective it is because they found that, that it's been pretty effective. And let me just tell you about the Mulligan concept squeeze technique for the knee. Here's some pictures. So there's the, the description of how they do it. They, they basically find a tender spot. Let me zoom in a bit here. They find a tender spot on the joint line of the knee, which is assumed to be the meniscus uh, because it's a joint line. And then they go, they do a mobilization with movement. So the patient's in flexion here, then they have the patient extend their knee as the therapist applies pressure thumb over thumb right there. And then they bend their knee again as the therapist still applies pressure. And then they can do it in standing too. There's a standing version as you can see right here. The patient here is in relative knee extension and then they bend their knee here to go into flexion as the therapist is putting pressure through that tender spot on the knee. So the thought process that, that I can deduce from here is that the meniscus is, is shifted and the therapist is pushing it back in while the patient's moving. And I think what, what isn't explained too much here in this study that, that I wanted to make sure you guys understood or reviewed if you if you under already understand it is that the meniscus is kind of a, fl a free floating structure if you look at the anatomy book it's only got a few ligaments that hold it in place on the tibia and they're at the ends of the c shaped structure so on the on the tips of the c point um, that's where the ligaments are so the outer parts of the, of the meniscus are kind of free to move around there are some some tendons and and the ligaments to mcl lc mainly the MCL has some fibers that attach to the menisci. And so that, that kind of anchors it down laterally, but meniscus tissue has the ability to kind of shift and move around um, along with the knee joint. So as the knee, as the femur moves on the tibia, um, then the, the menisci can adapt their position to accommodate the femur. So this begs the question, knowing this, these, these biomechanics of the meniscus, um, you know, can it shift out of place? And that's what this mulligan concept technique is talking about. They're, they're assuming that if somebody's got a meniscal injury or, or knee pain at the joint line and that it, if they suspect it's a meniscus problem, that maybe that meniscus has shifted. Now, I've never seen this technique before. I do some version of this technique. Um, I do what's called the tibial shift, um, but I'm going to try this out. I think this is really cool and it might be um, uh, beneficial. I haven't directly put pressure on the meniscus. What I see is you can you can uh, tell a, a, the tibia can shift medially or laterally on the femur. So if this is your femur right here, here's your tibia, you can get this kind of a shift this way or this way. Usually I find that it shifts medially and you can use a manual therapy technique to literally shove the tibia lateral on the femur and it has amazing effects. I, we, we can get some people with coming in with some serious pain to have almost no pain. Um, instantly. Now it doesn't hold, they have to do exercises of course to, to maintain the, the position of the of the tibia on the femur, um, but I would assume it's the same thing here with this this um, mulligan concept technique for the knee. It's, it, you, you, you probably shove that meniscus in, in place better, but there still needs to be some sort of exercise, some sort of training for the patient to do to, to improve the mechanics overall on their menisci, on their, their knee joint mechanics. So we have to look at the foot, so we have to look at the hip, we have to look at muscle imbalances, relative strength all over the place. But I thought this was a cool technique. Now, the, the study showed that it, it had positive results, that overall everybody got better. Um, and so, uh, you know, the sham, it proved better than the sham treatment. So um, that's 
expected with these kinds of studies. Um, but I, I love just learning about these techniques. So guys, comment below if you have any similar techniques. If you if you already knew about this, maybe I'm the only one out of the loop here. That's very possible. Um, so please tell me like, oh yeah, we learned this in PT school. We do it all the time. And um, this is not new information. You need to talk about the new stuff, please. Um, then you can totally comment that. And, and I, I'd be happy to know if I'm completely out of the loop. Um, or if this is new to you as well, then then let me know too, so that I can I can know to to bring you this type of information more and more, so you can get exposure to this these types of new techniques that are being uh, researched in the in in our journals. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful Monday, and we'll talk soon. Bye bye.